In this video, we're going to take you through a full beginner's guide to Bybit, showing you how to deposit, trade and withdraw from the platform. For more information on Bybit, please check out everybithelps.io. First up a little bit about Bybit. Bybit is a global company that launched in 2018 and it's one of the fastest growing cryptocurrency exchanges with over 6 million registered users. With Bybit, users can buy, sell and trade popular coins on their spot and derivatives platforms. For those of that are brand new to crypto, you can buy it directly from their site with the likes of a credit card, via bank wire or peer-to-peer. -peer. Or the more experienced trader can trade crypto with up to 100x leverage on Perpetual's futures products, plus there's also options and leverage tokens. You can even put your crypto to work and earn some passive income with their own program, with varying income products depending on your level of risk. Bybit is available on the desktop or via a mobile app available for download on Google Play or the App Store. However, for the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to be showing you all this on the web today. So let's jump into the walkthrough. And for those of you that are brand new to Bybit, I'll have my link in the summary. Plus at the moment, you can also earn up to $1,050 when you complete some simple tasks and refer your friends and family. To sign up for an account, you'll need to enter an email address or a mobile number, create a strong, secure password, and agree to the terms and conditions. Plus in here is where you can enter the promo or referral code. You'll then reach the home screen. And one of the first things that we'd recommend doing before you go ahead and deposit any funds is to secure it. You can do this under your profile icon in the top right, then choose account and security. Under two-factor authentication is where you can configure SMS authentications for logins, passwords, resets, etc. Or you can use Google Authenticator, which will provide you with a one-time code for actions such as logging in and withdrawals. In terms of verification and KYC, to use Bybit, you can sign up with just your basic information. However, to get more benefits, you can upgrade to level one by providing your photo ID and selfie. Or for higher limits, you can upgrade to level two and provide your proof of residence. Once your account has been secured, let's go ahead and take a look at how we start depositing our funds. To deposit, head across to Assets in the top right and then to Assets Overview. Your assets are then split between spot, derivatives, funding, USDC derivatives and earn. Now because there is so much to buy a bit, today we're just going to be focusing on spot trading for beginners. And we'll also briefly touch on earn, as this is a way that you can earn passive income on your crypto. To deposit, simply choose deposit from the top of the screen. And you'll see from the drop down here that there are a whole host of cryptos that you can select from the list. However, there isn't an option for depositing fiat, or traditional currency. And that's because, as you can see from the market screen, there aren't any fiat markets to trade with, as Bybit is predominantly a crypto to crypto exchange. However, if you are brand new to crypto and you don't already have any crypto to deposit, don't worry, as Bybit do have ways that you can buy crypto directly on their site with the likes of a credit or a debit card. If we just head to buy crypto at the top of the screen and choose Express, as you can see, you can currently buy USDT or USDC with the likes of a credit or a debit card at zero fees. To buy in this way, you simply enter in the amount that you want to spend in your chosen fiat currency, and it will then let you know how much you'll receive in your chosen crypto. And you can select from USDT, BTC, ETH and USDC. Then choose your payment method. And with GBP, you have the option of buying with the likes of a credit card, faster payment service, SEPA, bank transfer, Google Play, etc. And these will all vary depending on your chosen currency. You'll then need to add a card and follow the instructions shown on your screen. Just note though that this won't be the cheapest way to buy your crypto, as firstly you're dictated to by the rates that are provided by their third party providers. And usually, although there is currently a promotion, credit card fees are generally quite high, and this is mostly down to the convenience of paying in this way. Plus, it's ideal for those that don't already have any crypto to deposit. However, if you do, the cheapest way to trade crypto will be to deposit it. So let's head back to the deposit screen now by heading to Assets and Spot. 
and then you can either choose deposit from the top of the screen or you can search for the crypto and then choose deposit to the right of it. The coin will then be selected from the drop down and you'll then have a list of chains or networks. And it's really important that you select the correct chain type from the list of options here, because in the world of crypto, transactions are non-retractable. So it's essential to know which network you're sending your crypto from. You may then need to acknowledge that you know that your deposit will go directly into your spot account. And you'll be shown the address and the QR code to send your funds across to, which you can then copy or scan. If you are copying, just ensure that you get the address exact, else you do risk losing your funds. And if you're feeling a bit nervous, it is worth sending a smaller test amount first before you send across all of your crypto. I'm just going to send across some USDT across to my account now. Once the transaction has been confirmed, your funds will then appear in your assets overview and your spot account. So I've currently got some USDT, which is a stable coin pegged roughly one to one to the US dollar. But what if I wanted to trade that for Bitcoin instead? Well, that's what we're gonna look at now. If we head across to markets and choose spot, here you'll find all the available trading pairs, which are essentially what you can trade from and to. Now, one thing to be aware of is that sometimes there isn't a direct trade. So you may need to swap from one crypto to another first and then trade to the crypto that you actually want. For an example, if you had DAI and you wanted to buy the Decentraland MANA token, you might first need to swap DAI for USDT, then USDT for MANA. But anyway, I just want to make a direct trade today, which is USDT for Bitcoin. So I'm going to select that from the list. And you'll then be taken to the trade screen. Now at first, this can look a little bit daunting with a lot of flashing lights and graphs. So let's take a look around the screen first before we go ahead and make a trade. First of all, you have your market or your trading pair in the top left, which is essentially the two coins that you're swapping from and to. And you can then click onto that to find out a little bit more information about that coin. It then shows the price and its equivalent in US dollars, the 24 hour change, high, low, turnover and volume. And there are charts that you can search for over specific periods of time. Your order book with potential sell orders in red and buy orders in green. Then there's the order section at the bottom, which we're going to come back to shortly. And the section on the far right is for placing buy and sell orders. So to place a trade order, you'll either need to be selling or buying. In this instance, we're going to be on the buy side as we want to be buying Bitcoin with our existing USDT. With Bybit, you can place a few different order types, which are market, limit, or conditional orders. A market order places immediately at the best available market price. A limit order allows you to place an order at the price that you'd like to buy or sell at, and then you just wait for the market to reach the price that you've set. Then conditional orders allow you to place an order after the market reaches a specific value which can help to reduce losses. And if you're trading less than $250,000, you're going to be paying fees at 0.1%, regardless of your order type. And these fees are incredibly cheap compared to some other leading exchanges. And you'll pay fewer fees as your trading volume increases over time. And you'll also pay less fees for limit orders when you create a price that's not immediately matched by the order book. To place a market order, you simply enter the amount that you'd like to buy or you can use the slider to select a percentage of your portfolio. Your order will then place immediately, and your newly purchased crypto will then be available from within your spot wallet. To place a limit order, you enter the price you'd like to buy your Bitcoin at, which would be usually below the current market price, and then you enter the amount that you'd like to buy, or again you can use the slider. Then you can go ahead and buy, and wait for the market to reach your price. Now while you wait, your open order will appear under the current orders here. And whilst it's still open and hasn't been filled, you can cancel an order. So that if the market changes in the wrong direction, or if you have made a mistake, you can cancel the order and try again. So in this example, I'll now set my buy price to a little closer to the current prices, which is still cheaper than the current market price, and then I'll try again. Then once the market has reached your price and the order has been filled, 
it will then show under your trade history here with all the order information. And the newly purchased Bitcoin will then appear in your spot account. And selling your crypto works in the exact same way, only in the reverse. Whether it be market for immediate orders or you place a limit order and then choose to sell above the current market price. And what you do with your crypto is completely up to you. You can swap it for another crypto or you can earn interest on it with Bybit Earn, where you can earn various interest rates depending on your level of risk. But what if you want to withdraw your crypto to the safety of a hardware wallet? Well, in this case, you would choose Assets, then Spot, and Withdraw. From here, you can choose the crypto you want to withdraw and then select the chain which in the same way as depositing will need to be correct for the address or the wallet or the lending platform that you're sending your crypto to. You'll then need to add the address that you want to withdraw to, to a whitelist. By choosing Add, then you can enter in all the address information. You'll need to paste in the address, which you'll need to ensure is exact again, and then enter an address name. You may also be prompted to enter in your two-factor authentication code, and this is to prove that it's you and not someone else adding this withdrawal address. Once added, you can then select the address from the list. Then select the amount that you'd like to withdraw, and again if you're feeling nervous, it's worth sending across a smaller test amount first. And the transaction fee associated with withdrawal will then appear, and this is on a crypto-by-crypto -crypto basis. And I hope you enjoyed this video today, and if you did then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button and please do head over to our website at everybithelps.io for more tips, reviews and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks and I'll see you soon.